When the electromagnetic catapult launched aircraft from the Fujian aircraft carrier sliced through the sky, when CCTV casually hinted at the existence of the H-20 bomber with the phrase, stay tuned, and when an Air Force commentator admitted that the weapons displayed in the parade aren't the latest, have you realized just how deep China's military industrial technology reserve pool truly is? All this seems to validate a seemingly casual yet highly revealing comment made by an Air Force commentator during the live broadcast, none of the weapons displayed at the September the 3rd parade were the latest models. This implies that the equipment that astonished global military enthusiasts was merely a showcase of China's phased achievements in defense technology. The true national treasures may still lie hidden behind the curtain, suggesting that China's military industrial capabilities are more profound and forward-looking than external estimates suggest. On September the 22nd, the Chinese Navy announced a milestone achievement, the J-15T carrier-based fighter, J-35 stealth fighter, and KJ-600 fixed-wing early warning aircraft, three critical carrier-based aircraft types, successfully completed their first electromagnetic catapult launches and arrested landings on the aircraft carrier Fujian. This breakthrough not only signifies the Fujian's operational capability in electromagnetic catapult launch and recovery but also marks a historic leap in China's aircraft carrier development, transitioning from ski jump takeoffs to electromagnetic catapult systems. Leaders from relevant naval departments emphasized that this represents another breakthrough in China's aircraft carrier development journey holding milestone significance for advancing the transformation and modernization of the Navy. Through multiple test runs and training sessions, the fully domestically developed electromagnetic catapult and arresting systems demonstrated excellent compatibility with multiple carrier-based aircraft types. This has enabled the Fujian to preliminarily achieve full-deck operational capability, laying a solid foundation for subsequently forming a complete carrier strike group system combat capability. The Fujian's new capability carries profound implications for reshaping the strategic landscape in the Western Pacific. Unlike the ski jump takeoff systems used on the Liaoning and Shandong carriers, the electromagnetic catapult enables aircraft to launch with full fuel and full weapons, meaning extended operational range and airborne duration, coupled with enhanced strike capabilities. Military expert Zhang Junch analyzed that, when combined with the range calculations of carrier-based aircraft and missiles, the operational radius of the Fujian carrier strike group will be significantly expanded, capable of covering the second island chain in the Western Pacific. This grants the Chinese Navy comprehensive offensive and defensive capabilities in distant seas. Additionally, the electromagnetic catapult system boasts extremely rapid response times, requiring only about 15 minutes from cold start to operational readiness. This significantly enhances carrier-based aircraft sortie efficiency, enabling the carrier to transition more swiftly into high-intensity, full-deck launch, combat operations. While the Fujian's achievements were still generating buzz among military enthusiasts, CCTV dropped another bombshell in a September the 25th report, explicitly mentioning successor models to aircraft like the H-6N and cryptically urging viewers to stay tuned. These four words sent shockwaves through military circles, widely interpreted as the most explicit official hint yet regarding the long-rumored H-20 strategic bomber. The H-20's unveiling journey has unfolded like a meticulously orchestrated suspense thriller. Trace it back to 2021. The closing credits of an official Chinese Air Force promotional video unexpectedly revealed the silhouette of a shrouded flying wing stealth bomber, offering the first visual hint of the H-20's existence. In 2024, concept art for the Air Force's next-generation fighters prominently featured a large stealth flying wing bomber trailing behind the J-35 fighter jet. More notably, Vice Commander Wang Wei publicly stated during a CCTV interview that the H-20 would, soon, make its debut, emphasizing that, there are no technological bottlenecks, researchers have the capability to overcome them. From the 2016 confirmation of its development by then Air Force Commander Ma Zai-Ocean to the 2024 declaration by the deputy commander that all technical bottlenecks have been overcome, every pulse of the H-20 has sent ripples through global strategic nerves. Why does the movement of a single bomber command such intense attention? For China's Air Force, which is evolving into a strategic air force, the H-20, represents far more than just a new fighter jet, it is the final crucial piece completing China's triad nuclear deterrence capability. Currently, China possesses the DF-41 land-based intercontinental ballistic missile and the JL-2 submarine-launched ballistic missile, but its airborne nuclear strike capability still relies primarily on the H-6 series. Although models like the H-6 and have undergone modernization upgrades, their original design, derived from the Soviet 216, 
struggles to fully adapt to the demands of modern high-intensity combat environments. As a strategic bomber speculated to feature a stealthy flying wing design, the H-20 is expected to penetrate advanced air defense systems and execute strategic strike missions. External analyses suggest its range could exceed 12,000 kilometers, extending to 16,000 kilometers with aerial refueling granting it global reach. Its radar cross-section is reportedly extremely small, making it difficult to detect on radar screens. Further analysis suggests the H-20 of May incorporate advanced aerodynamic design and propulsion systems, potentially integrating technologies like detonator engines to achieve hypersonic flight. The potential debut and deployment of the H-20 would profoundly impact the strategic balance across the Western Pacific and beyond. Once operational, it could penetrate island chain defenses to directly threaten critical targets along the second island chain, potentially forcing adversaries to relocate military bases further inland and significantly expand China's strategic depth. More importantly, the H-20 is expected to form a stealth strike group with the J-20 stealth fighter, KJ-500 early warning aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles, establishing comprehensive integrated combat capabilities. The synergistic, see air linkage, effect created with the J-35 stealth carrier-based fighters carried by the Fujian aircraft carrier will further reshape the Pacific security landscape. In the realm of global stealth strategic bombers, the United States has long held a dominant position. Since its entry into service in 1997, the B-2 Spirit has been the world's sole stealth strategic bomber. Now, the U.S. has conducted the maiden flight of its next-generation B-21 Raider, aiming to consolidate its technological edge. The emergence of the H-20 will break America's monopoly in stealth bombers, making China the world's second nation to possess a stealth strategic bomber. From the successful electromagnetic catapult launch on the Fujian aircraft carrier to the imminent debut of the H-20, China's explosive progress in military technology is underpinned by a comprehensive industrial chain and robust scientific innovation. While the U.S. defense industry faced setbacks due to supply disruptions of materials like rare earths, China has achieved full self-reliance from materials to systems. Looking back over the past decades, Western technological blockades against China have, in a sense, become a catalyst for China's technological explosion. Through ingenuity and perseverance, Chinese scientists and engineers have overcome critical technological barriers against adversity, from deciphering atomic bomb data chains using abacuses and hand-cranked calculators, to the J-20's breakthrough in plasma stealth technology, to the Fujian aircraft carrier's electromagnetic catapult system surpassing traditional steam-powered launchers. The successful electromagnetic catapult trials on the Fujian aircraft carrier demonstrate the Chinese Navy's strategic shift from near-sea defense to far-sea defense. Meanwhile, the future deployment of the H-20 bomber signifies the Chinese Air Force's transformation from a territorial air defense force to a strategic air force capable of both offense and defense. The significance of this transformation cannot be overstated, as CCTV's announcement concluded with the phrase, stay tuned, the H-20's unveiling appears to be entering its final countdown. This national strategic asset will not only address strategic shortcomings within the PLOF, but also declare to the world that China possesses the capability to safeguard its sovereignty and security while assuming a more significant role in global affairs.